Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Talking Money with Pete. In these videos, I try and go through and explain some general financial concepts, and I use a lot of pictures and analogies to help me go through and explain those concepts. Today, we're gonna to be going through and talking about the general concept of salary packaging. What is it? How does it work? Let's go through and get stuck in. Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be going through and talking about salary packaging. What is it? How does it work? A lot of people might have only uh, heard about it when they started at new employment. And so a lot of the time it's very common for state, federal, local government employees. There's a lot of entitlements that you get for working for different employers. And salary packaging is generally one of those entitlements. So today we're gonna to be going through and just breaking it down a little bit more. I've got a very simple picture that can help go through and explain it as well. So generally when we meet with some of these employees, uh, we go through and we have a bit of a look and I draw this picture and I say, because of who you work for, so let's call them EMP for employer, they pay you a wage, you like them because they pay you, most people say yes to that, then from there, tax man comes in and takes his slice out of the cake. And so for a lot of people, if you earn somewhere between thirty-seven and $90,000, the average amount of tax you're paying is somewhere around a third. So for every $100 you earn, you pay about $34.50 in tax. And so you're going through and you're getting left with $65.50 to you to go spend on food, groceries, fuel, pay the mortgage, all of that sort of stuff. And so essentially, the whole concept of salary packaging is because of who you may work for, bringing money legally around the tax man and goes to a trust account, which a lot of people call an administrator. And so from there, you get the full hundred dollars that comes through there that you get to go and spend on different things. And so there's certain things that you can or can't do depending on who you work for and what level or type of salary packaging you're eligible for. But the whole concept of it is, because of who you work for, the more money you can legally bring around the tax man, the better. And which would you prefer? $100 or $65.50? Most people go through and choose the $100. It's just a case of what can you do it on? Is it the right thing to do? And so most of the time when people meet with these new employers and they talk to the administrators, there's a little asterisk that says, please seek independent financial advice. And so we've got a fantastic team in our company of qualified specialists that can go through, of licensed as well, obviously, they can go through and help give advice on that to make sure it is the right thing for you to do, that you're not missing out by something else by doing it, all that sort of stuff. So, hope that helps. Hey guys, I hope you found that video interesting. Uh, feel free to you always leave comments or like and subscribe, all that sort of stuff. We've got a great team that can go through, of licensed specialists that can go through and help you figure out whether this is the right thing you should, that you should be doing and if you're doing enough of it. But apart from that, we'll be making a lot more videos, probably a few more videos on this topic, maybe for your specific segment of who you may work for. So we'll see you in the future videos.